Right now, a major milestone in our country is being celebrated. 25 years ago, the American with Disabilities Act was founded, and this weekend, the No Barriers Summit is bringing together worldwide scientists, inventors, practitioners, and many more to encourage those of all abilities to discover the potential that lies within them. David Sherna and Kathy Martinez both joined me to talk about the ADA's influence over the last 25 years and the latest innov innovations to technology that we are seeing at the summit. Thank you both so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Tina, for having us. Oh, absolutely. Kathy, let's start out by kind of backtracking and talking about what happened 25 years ago and how the ADA has really made a big impact on our country. Well, 25 years ago, the ADA was passed, signed by George W. Bush. Uh, and it really has made an impact on our country in that it has made our total landscape more physically accessible. We are, everybody is familiar with ramps now. We didn't have those 25, 30, 30 years ago. Uh, Braille on elevators, lifts on buses, over 90% of our accessible, uh, our, excuse me, over 90% of our buses are accessible. Um, so we, the ADA has basically uh, level the playing field for people with disabilities and it has allowed society to become more accessible so that folks can participate and contribute. And I think that it's amazing that we're having this celebration and David the No Barriers does an amazing job of kind of celebrating but also kind of pushing forward into the future. Yeah, yeah, I can't imagine a better place than uh, here at the National Ability Center in Park City, Utah, to be celebrating the 25th anniversary of the ADA. We're hosting our No Barriers Summit for the next four days, which features some of the latest innovations and technologies that help people with disabilities explore and discover the world. And so what we're doing here is we've got uh, about a thousand people and just out, out back behind us, we've got people rock climbing, we've got people horseback riding, scuba diving, kayaking, pottery, all different sites of activities, more than 100 activities for people to try and try something new and challenge yourself to push outside your boundaries and explore something that you didn't think you could ever accomplish. And, and I think what we get from the attendees at our conference by the end of our four days is this feeling that nothing can stop the power of the human spirit. Against all odds, we can triumph. Oh, I love that. That's so amazing and inspiring what you're saying. And I know what's really exciting about the summit is that we're going to see a lot of new technology. Have you seen anything maybe in, in, in technology that's going to be, you know, we can see in the future? Yeah, well, one thing that we're showcasing here is something called an eye writer where uh, by someone who doesn't have use of their limbs can use just their eyes to uh, communicate and to actually draw and, and uh, do art, which is incredible. We've also got a participant who couldn't make it physically here, uh, and so he sent his robot, which he can control from his home, and his robot is actually gonna give a talk to our participants. We've got another guy who's doing an echolocation clinic. Um, he's, a, he's a blind man who uh, uses echolocation to get around, and so some of the technologies that are out there are just extraordinary, and I get daily emails of the new, next and newest and greatest, and really the innovations in um, just getting people out hiking and kayaking and scuba, all the adaptations are helping people with disabilities really explore or the farthest frontiers. I think also the, the, that, that um, companies that serve the general public are realizing that access is a, an issue for everyone. So smartphone companies are realizing that they have to develop smartphones out of the box so that people with disabilities can use them. And, and technology companies are realizing that the, that dis the disability community is a viable market. So they're beginning to develop technologies out of the box that don't have to be adapted so that folks can use them. I think this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I'd encourage folks uh, through Kathy's support at Wells Fargo this month and in the, in the days to come where we will be releasing a series of videos showcasing how the ADA has helped change people's lives on the Wells Fargo YouTube channel. And certainly we'd love to have folks from Tucson join us at a future No Barriers Summit. We'll be in uh, Colorado next year and you can learn more about that at www.nobarriersusa.org. Well, I want to thank both of you so much uh, for inviting the viewers here in Tucson, of course, to join you in the summit next year. We hope you are all enjoying this and that everyone there is uh, definitely celebrating this milestone and learning so much from everyone that's joined. 
Thank you, thank very you much. so much for having us, Tina. Absolutely. Now stay with us. The Morning Blend will be right back.